I want to talk about education. So today, knowing what you know, seeing what you see, and being at the cutting edge of this technology, what should people focus on when it comes to education? What should they learn? How should they educate their kids and their societies? Well, excellent question. I'm going to say something, and it, it's, it's going to sound completely opposite um, of what people feel. Uh, you, you, you probably recall, uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. And that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle. This is the miracle of artificial intelligence. For the very first time, we have closed the gap. The technology divide has been completely closed. And it's the reason why so many people can engage artificial intelligence. It is the reason why every single government, every single industrial conference, every single company is talking about artificial intelligence today. Because for the very first time, you can imagine everybody in your company being a technologist. Mm. And so this is a tremendous time for uh, all of you to realize that the technology divide has been closed. Or another way to say it, the technology leadership of other country has now been reset. The countries, the people that understand how to solve a domain problem in digital biology or in education of young people or in manufacturing or in farming, those people who understand domain expertise now can utilize technology that is readily available to you. You now have a computer that will do what you tell it to do, to help automate your work, to amplify your productivity, to make you more efficient. And so I think that this is just a tremendous time. Um, the impact, of course, uh, is, is great, and your imperative to activate and take advantage of the technology is absolutely immediate. Um, and also to realize that to engage AI is a lot easier now than at any time in the history of computing. It is vital that we upskill everyone, and the upskilling process, I, I believe, will be delightful, surprising, um, to realize that this computer can perform all these things that you're instructing it to do and doing it so easily. So if I was going to choose a uh, major in university as a degree that I'm going to pursue, what would you give me as an advice for something to pursue? If I were starting all over again, um, I would realize uh, one thing, that one of the most complex fields of science is the understanding of biology, human biology. Not only is it complicated because it's so diverse, so complicated, so hard to understand, living and breathing, it is also incredibly impactful. Complicated technology, complicated science, incredibly impactful. For the very first time, and, and remember, we call this field life sciences. And we call drug discovery, discovery, as if you wander around the universe and all of a sudden, hey, look what I discovered. Nobody in computer science, nobody in computers, and nobody in the traditional industries that are very large today, nobody says car discovery. We don't say computer discovery. We don't say software discovery. We don't go home and say, hey, honey, look what I found today, this piece of software. We call it engineering. And every single year, our science, our computer science, our software becomes better and better than the, than the year before. Every single year, our chips get better. Every single year, our infrastructure gets better. However, life sciences is sporadic. If I were to do it over again right now, I would realize that the technology to turn life engineering, life science to life engineering is upon us and that digital biology will be a field of engineering, not a field of science. It will continue to have science, of course, but not a field just of science in the future. And so uh, I hope that, that this is gonna start a whole generation of people who enjoy working with proteins and chemicals and, and enzymes and 
um, materials and, and they're engineering these amazing things that are more energy efficient, that are lighter weight, that are stronger, that are more sustainable. All of these inventions in the future are going to be part of engineering, not scientific discovery.